What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pastor Gaines and I'm going to teach you how to get your stream deck background to be animated because the one you have right now is boring and nobody wants that. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to do when you're going to be animating the background of your stream deck is you need to find a GIF. Now, you're going to go to Google, really, really simple. We're just going to pull up a GIF that we have found. I'm going to use the Samurai one because it goes very well with my background and everything that I have kind of the theme of my setup currently. So you're going to find a GIF. I'm going to choose this one. You're going to right click, save image as, save it where you want it to be, and then you're going to leave it there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to a website called easygif.com. This is going to allow you to cut this image into different pieces so it will fit in your stream deck. So when you get to easygift.com, you're going to sit here and you're going to hit crop. You're going to go up to crop. It's going to ask you to choose a new file. So you're going to choose the file that you saved. So I have this one. This is the one that I have. I'm uploading it now and it's going to allow you to then upload the image and crop it in all the different 15 pieces that you need it for your stream deck. So we're gonna give it a second here, it's gonna crop, there it is. Now this next part is very, very important. You need to go down here to the width and it needs to be 360 by 216. And then you're gonna hit set. That's gonna put it in the exact dimensions that your stream deck is in. Once you've hit 360 by 216 and set it, you're gonna go down here and you're gonna hit crop image. This is gonna be the image that you are going to work with right here. So you're gonna right click, save image as, save it as whatever you want it, but this is gonna be the image you're gonna upload and start to work on. So you're gonna go back to crop, you're gonna choose the file that you just saved, so your finalized image. You're gonna choose that file, you're gonna hit upload once more, and now this is gonna allow you to sit there and carve out each individual square that you need for your stream deck. This part is a little tedious. I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. This is not something that you can sit down and like quickly do. It's just something that is just gonna take a little bit of time. It takes probably about 10 minutes to do, but it's well worth it in the end. Okay, so this is now the part that's gonna take a little bit of time. You're gonna sit here and you are gonna cut out 15 different squares. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you're gonna go down to the left, zero pixels away from the left, zero pixels away from the top. You're gonna to do 72 in width and 72 in height, and it's gonna set the block to right there. Now, this is very important. You're gonna repeat what I'm gonna tell you 15 times. You're gonna crop image, you're gonna go down, it's gonna give you this little square. This is your first square in your stream deck. So you're gonna right click, save image as, and I've already saved this one as one, so you know where it goes in your stream deck. So you're gonna save that. You're then gonna move the square all around the image with the dimensions that I'm gonna show you, and it's gonna allow you to save 15 different small squares to make your big picture. So I'm gonna put all of the dimensions up on the screen so you can freeze it. That way you don't have to sit there and listen to me do every single one over and over and over again. So check this out. So let's start cutting out these pieces. So right now you can see it's in the top right corner, but we need it now that we've saved this as number one we need it to move 72 pixels to the right so what you're going to do is you're going to hit the left and you're going to go 72 and that's and press enter and that's going to move it over to this next segment then you're going to hit crop and it's going to crop the image for you right click save and you're going to save it as two you're going to then go back up you're going to repeat the process you're going to 72 times two is 144 so you're going to do 144 you're gonna hit set and it's gonna move it over to the next set, which is three. So you hit set, crop image. This is number three, same thing, save it as number three. And then you're gonna follow this through. So the next step after that is 216. Oops, 216. So you're gonna hit set and this is gonna be number four. We're gonna crop that image, save image as number four, save. Then this is the last one in this row, so it's going to be 288. And you're gonna hit set, and it's gonna take it all the way to the very end there. Crop image, save this as number five. So I'm now gonna put all the different values up on the screen to help you guys out so you don't have to watch me go through every single one. So now that you have all of those tiles numbered and downloaded, it should look something like this in whatever folder that you have it in one through 15. So now is where the fun begins. We're going to open up our Stream Deck software and it's going to look like this. Currently, you see the picture that I have in here is not moving. It's not going to move, but it will move on your Stream Deck. So 
you're going to go through here one at a time and replace each one of these tiles with the coinciding number. So for example, you're gonna go down, you're gonna click on it. Nope, not that way, you're gonna click on it. It's gonna open up the folder down here, whatever you have here, you're gonna to go to the arrow on the right and you're gonna hit set from file. And then I'm gonna to go to where I have my Stream Deck backgrounds, the Samurai number one, boom. And it's gonna go right there and you're gonna do that with all of them. Now, once you have all of your pictures put into place, you can then look down at your Stream Deck. Sometimes it won't be in sync. All you have to do is you have to go to your profile, go to profile one or whatever profile and then switch back and it will reset all the pictures and they're gonna sync up and it should look something like this for you. All right, guys, and that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Listen, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I would love to answer them, love to talk more with you guys. If you do like this type of content, make sure to subscribe, hit the like, follow, and bell notification so you know when I'm making more content. If you want to come talk content, I'm over on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 Eastern. And until next time, I'll see you then.